introduce you to Paul Bjork, who is our past president of the Cultural Gardens and a member of our executive board. And he wants to explain to you about the time capsule. Yes. Do you need help, Paul? So, good? so here it is. All right. <laughs> now, what we will do is uh, we're using this day as a starting point and it, for those of you that are here you can sign the time capsule on the outside and between now and one world day which is our major event on august 28 we will collect pertinent information um, uh, the program from the gala uh, our newsletter uh, photographs of the gardens and compile that information and we will place it here we already had the, the chamber for it prepared. I won't tell you where it is, it's a secret, but it's very, it's within 10 feet of where I'm standing. And um, uh, we'll place it to, we have to yet determine whether we're going to open it 25 years or 20 years. We're not going to wait 100 years. There's too many changes. The world is changing too fast. And uh, chances are when people will look at this, in 25 years, they'll look at it and say, oh my gosh, they actually drove cars with their hands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, uh, times are changing. But we'll take photographs to record that time. We all just enjoy looking at the old pictures of the gardens. And, and this will be a way to uh, sort of preserve the moment, the 100 years um, here in, in a time capsule for the, uh, for the youth that will follow uh, to give them some sense of uh, history. So if you haven't had a chance, and some people have, please come down, the, there's the, there are pens over there on the table, and um, uh, sign the time capsule. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. And while you're signing, I'd like to introduce you